Welcome to SBS News in Easy English. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission is paying close attention to the high prices and unaffordability of COVID-19 rapid antigen tests. There are reports of tests costing up to $500 for two via online marketplaces and more than $70 through convenience stores and service stations, despite wholesale costs being up to $11.45 per test. The ACCC chairman, Rod Sims, is asking businesses to urgently explain the retail costs, adding that the watchdog will act if required. We have heard stories where people have gone to enormous lengths to get supplies for their consumers and on those occasions maybe higher pricing can be justified. Victoria has recorded just over 22,000 new COVID-19 cases and six deaths as authorities begin distributing millions of rapid antigen tests to essential workers and vulnerable people. The new infections on Monday reached a total of 22,429 cases of COVID-19. It brings the total number of active cases in the state to 245,040, including a record 1,229 patients in hospital on Monday. And health officials are optimistic Australia is nearing the peak for Omicron coronavirus infections. Authorities in Victoria suggest that the state is close to reaching its highest point, while the Gold Coast is on track to do so by next week. National union leaders are holding an emergency meeting today to determine the next steps for keeping workers safe during a surge of COVID-19 cases. The meeting will include unions and consider responses to the Omicron variant based on the latest health advice about limiting the spread. The Australian Council of Trade Unions Secretary Sally McManus has told SBS News the definition of close contacts changing in a workplace context is worrying. Um, So inevitably that just means that we're putting the whole community at risk because we have more potentially infectious people circulating in the community. In sport, defending champions Algeria have lost to Equatorial Guinea in one of the biggest upsets in Africa Cup of Nations. In other action, Ivory Coast and Algeria were both held to unexpected draws, while Tunisia were the sole favourites to win. Algeria are bottom of Group E going into a final group game against two-time champions Ivory Coast. This is SBS News in Easy English. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Corsetti.